outside area. We have a swing set. This is a good one for like disabled here. You've got your jump. Sorry, the camera's not focusing. You've got your jump, your crazy golf, and your zip line out there. So I'll show you that later. Outdoors entertainment. Slim chicken, uh, swimming pool, and the carousel entrance is there. So let's go back and watch Grace. Most games are a pound, some of them are 20p, um, a good, especially the one that my mum, it is now 20p here, that's good, Grace likes doing the 2p so we'll be doing that shortly, we, we wanted to join with this crocodile but I think Grace is a little bit scared, but in the end, so, so yeah, so we're going to go and have um, a meal back at the caravan and we'll see what happens later on, so I hope you like this mini mini um, car. I normally I give a big car round, but I'll I'll see how I go. Like I say, it's hard when you've got a little one and you want to film properly. But never mind, it's life. I hope you enjoy it. Take care, everyone. Bye. Hello, everyone. So we've come for a walk, and just going to see what there is in the area near me. This is currently the situation with the rain we've been having. The whole roundabout here. It's absolutely flooded. So you've got to be careful. <laughs> like you just don't know if there's any holes there or anything. Um, this way here is the barn. And that is for owners only. Which is a shame because when it's quiet like this, it'd be good. So we're just going to have a walk up here to see what else there is and everything. It looks really nice over there. Really nice. It's very, very quiet, which is a good thing. You've got a first box. There's a beach access somewhere I think it's this way so if you see a building <laughs> here this building here just walk past this and then we're just gonna head over the other way there's apparently a shop around here as well somewhere uh, I, I did think that was the shop beforehand when I saw the building but I think the shop could be just a bit further up um, yeah, I'm a bit confused where the shop is. Probably just one shop. I mean, the map tells you there's a shop right, right here. I could be reading it wrong, though, me. Apparently, I'm not going to read that one, but anyway. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, so. Okay, how do I get to the beach? There's beach access, but you've got a gate. Do I open the gate? Do I. Do I need a cord? I'll be confused. <laughs> so, because you're going through people's properties and you can see the barn area there. So I'm just going to go up this hill. It's probably going to be a waste of journey. I've got grace already. Uh, you can see a lot of burners. Oh, got to go up a slope. Okay, so wheelchair and prams, we're about to get through this because uh, it's locked, but there is this small tight area here, so I'm going get, to get through this and see which way I can go then. I thought it was just a straight line to the beach, but it looks like it isn't. Uh, which is a bit concerning really i'm gonna have to really look at the map again uh because if there's like no ax uh through access for people like disabled um, parents and no shop nearby they really should write it down 
we're gonna go through the I'm gonna go through the barn area and have a look that way, see if there's anything. I'll let you know about my time and where's my way currently to the beach. I didn't bring the map with me and I've got no internet. I get to get any internet here unless I can get internet this side of the private area park, um, which is Be able to figure out where I am and everything, but yeah, so uh, very nice and quiet. So I'll see you soon. Well, that was an adventure, it was very hard. You can see here, I got a snicket, I had to pull the race up backwards up a hill and everything. Uh, so you can see <laughs> the time <laughs> I literally had to like tip her up with this pull. She's found loads of shells, haven't you? We've got loads of shells. The, the sand is basically like empty, like no people, no water, or anything, so it's really like nice and everything. So, so yes, you can see birds way out, and then we've got a building kind of thing. There, more birds further down. I'll try and zoom in. It's really weird seeing oops, it all like this. I'm used to seeing water. But yeah. So yeah, that's basically, basically yeah. I really should have brought my binoculars. Ta -da! <gasps> wow! Oh, I like that. Jesus, how they be. Beach. Oh, it's falling over. I don't want me to help. Why? Want me help? Ready? Ready? One. Good. Yeah. There we go. Let's just pat it in. Oh, look, we've got some seaweed. <laughs> hey! Your tunip. Anyone knows where that's from? Comment below. Well, now we call her a turnip, but we're now calling her a tunip. And the reason why she's got a dummy, she's very sensitive right now because we're in a new place. So she's needing her dummy. She doesn't have a dummy at all. Um, can I have it? Can I have it? Thank you. Good girl. Uh, it's just because of the sensory. She's a confused. So. Dogs are allowed here as well. I've seen two dog walkers. Um, I think one of them was ready to help me bring the race to the beach. <laughs> Is that all fun? You got a load of shells. Bless you. So, yeah, so that is that. I am really confused about the map. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get onto my phone internet well from here because I'm like kind of up on land. Try and use uh, the wi and uh, the Wi-Fi signal, the um, mobile data. Then I can figure it all out um, and everything. Because if things aren't where it's meant to be, I will be stating that in a letter saying you really need to update your map, or you can even just like, put a cross through things. Because at Reeton Sands they didn't have the soft play and I didn't I was really excited for Grace to go to the soft play, they didn't have it there. It doesn't take someone too long just to put a cross through every map. I mean I'll do that for a job. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah. So I know this is a bit boring and everything talk, but I just like to give people a good um outlet of things because I know a lot of people do it do that they just basically give the basics whilst I give you the full information which I feel like is more better for people to understand what's going on and everything you can see the sand all right there. Okay, just to let you know this is the way to the beach Write in the description. Come this way is much more easier. Even though it's more bumpier. 
So yes, I've come this way. It's much, much more easy. There's like a place to let and everything. So yeah, they're just all little, little like shallow cuts. It's so cute. I love it. I love one of these. I'm a mum as well. So yeah, so it's very, very warm. Took Grace out the pram, so she's not getting shook around. Um, so like I say, it's not disabled friendly. Uh, this part, there's a disabled friendly part somewhere else. Come on, baby. Uh, so do a look at your map. Ribbit, ribbit. Um, so yes, it's really, really nice. Um, Pedestrian access to the beach only, no public parking, so you can't park down here either. So, this is all what it looks like. You've just got all this area. But this way, darling, I need you to come back in the pram, please. Where the mini market is, uh, where the brambles are, the uh, golf village, it is near the barn, it is the building right next to you. Um, they did say they are trying to get better signage because people don't always know they're here. Um, I can just say like owner's bar. <laughs> Down is like, right, wait, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm at the gate. So it is confusing. There is a park right there. I don't know if that's for owners or anything. Come on then, darling, let's go to the park. But I'm just going to risk it with Grace. Let's just see if we can... We can go in it. This way! <laughs> She's out of here. Come on, let's go and look! Yeah, so it is, this is like the like, kind of building and you just go around. So if you come from this roundabout, just to enter through these gates and it's just there. So yeah, so we're going to go and look at the part now. So see you all later.